Great, Sony from Old River Hard Goods again. Well, it's about 6 a.m. on Friday, July the 14th. I went to bed last night, and the weatherman was saying it was supposed to rain, rain, rain all morning. And got up this morning, and they're saying no rain. So I'm on my way to the Jack Down Steam Engine Show in Flea Market. So far, the ride here has been what we shall say is fun-filled and exciting. And if it gets any more exciting, the next 50 caliber machine gun I see with a Hummer H3 roof mount is going to be mine. And I won't bore you too much this time with road trip type video stuff, but that not mean there won't be a little piece here or there. So anyways, sit back and enjoy because we got a lot to show you today. Well, surprise, surprise. It's raining. I'm about two-thirds there, so I'm just going to keep on pushing through and check the other, check the phone when I get a few minutes here to see what's up, because there wasn't a, uh, the radar map was clear, so I don't know if this is something that quickly blew up or whatever, but it don't look good for today. Well, quick update, I pulled over and check the other phone and according to the weather map there's just one little dot of a thunderstorm over this area so I'm going to keep on pushing on through because it don't look like it's going to last too long just enough to kick up probably a bunch of mud but you will have this well I'm here and it's still raining although it's, according to the map Supposed to be done in about 15 or 20 minutes. I still hear some thunder off in the distance, and there's still there are people in the parking lot already. So I'm not the only fool, in case anybody's wondering. But I guess we're gonna sit here for a bit and drink some more coffee, and just hopefully this whole thing will be done. Well, here we are at the flea market area. People still setting up, people still coming in. I made a few buys so far. There's not a ton of stuff, but eh, pickings have been pretty decent. So we're gonna keep on moving here. But skies have cleared. And it's gonna be a pretty nice day, if not a bit humid. Unless of course it decides to rain again. Well here we are for round two. A day one I went and unloaded because the sack was starting to get pretty heavy and I remember this time to grab my reading glasses so maybe I can see what I can what I'm buying tell you this old age shrink what they said it was going to be but anyways let's keep on going well it's about 8 30 here Still 70 degrees, but the humidity's cranked up to about 115%. Haven't looked at the weather, so I don't know if they're going to catch any more rain today, but I'm done for today. So we're going to head back to the shop, take a look at what I got. Okay, here are the pickings from day one, and I promise to try and behave with the camera. No guarantees, but I'll try. Here we got a William Johnson. Number two rivet set, in pretty good shape, needs a little work. This big hunk of ugly here is an Anta cast steel. Pretty sure it's a stonemason's hammer, even though the guy thought it was a tire beater, but they weren't beating tires back 125 years ago. The paint's kind of boogered up on, it's gonna need some work. The plane is a Sergeant Rabbit plane, made by Sandusky. But that's in fairly good shape. We need just a little cleaning up. Got an assortment of square nut buggy wrenches for a brace. These are always a crowd pleaser, eh? Got an orphan uh, founder's tool. I'm going to add that to the pile of them. These are kind of neat. Something you don't find every day. Rotate around here. Those are lathe tools for metal spinning. How do you know? 
uh, someone might ask. Well, I've actually done metal spinning. Back in my junior high years in 1967-68, we had that in shop class. And uh, tell you what, these guys don't show up every day either. Here, a couple of watchmaker screw plates. They weren't cheap, but rarely are. That one's a stub. That one's a Martin Finn from Switzerland. In the uh, machinist tool realm, switch it around here. Union divider, pretty good shape. A pretty neat little, I think this is a user crafted surface gauge. I think this one's also user crafted. This is a caliper, but you can see one leg is bent. This guy must have had kind of a special duty or a special operation he needed it for. Brown and Sharp 715 screw pitch gauge. A pair of number 45 in the A and B sizes. Starrett depth gauges. These have the rods instead of the rulers. 46s have the rulers. And last but not least, a couple of axes. This one is a bridge. Bridgeport Boy Scout Axe. Yeah, I can say that. Hey, it's been a long morning already. Not too bad a shape. Hal's going to need just a little work. And this one is a Norland. Again, this one's going to take some restoration. I'm not sure the handle's original or if it's been tacked back on a few times. But, again, in the edge it's got some going on, but... It's not too bad, and I can make something out of it, so. Not too bad a pickings for an hour and a half. This morning's weather excitement is fog. Well, here we are back at Jacktown for day two of the summer show. I made a quick stop at Sailorsburg just to see if the regulars had anything, which they didn't. So I guess we're going to start hiking around. It is a bit early. It's still 630 and this place doesn't really kick off till about seven or so. At least I got a good parking space. So we're going to saddle up the old knapsack and see what we can find. Well, we had a nasty thunderstorm come through last night, and we seem to be getting a lot of those around here late. And of course, the Jacktown mud is back. I mean, yeah, some spots it's bad, some spots it's not too bad. Man, I've been here already when every one of these driveway areas was six inches deep in mud, and it's not a lot of fun. Eh, folks are starting to open up and set up now, and. I've been picking up a couple of things. I don't expect to get a real big load today because this is kind of a cleanup pass. But, yeah, you don't know till you do it. Well, quick look around the flea market section again. There's more mud. People walking, talking, shopping. It's not as busy as it usually is. is it? I'm sure it'll pick up, but... Kind of hard to watch out for the mug spots and walk at the same time, but you'll have this. Tool guy. Ten bucks. And... Uh, Another tool guy. Lots and lots of tools here. People trying to save their brand new pop-up tent that got destroyed during the storm last night.
a look down Tractor Row here. Big beast here. Back a little so we can get a better shot. And the old sawmill. Yeah, they'll have it running soon enough. I'm done here for today. Eh, pickers weren't too bad after all. Well, we'll get a look at those when I get back to the shop. I think uh, one more quick stop at Sailorsburg on the way out, just to uh, check in with the one guy, just to make sure I didn't miss anything there. And then it's back on the road. Well, here we got the pickings from day two. And, you know, usually it's not as strong as the first day, unless the weather was really crappy the first day. But I still managed to snag a few items. Definitely made the trip worthwhile. So let's take a quick closer look. Got a harness maker's bench clamp here. Just needs a little cleaning. Stanley, number 42W from the 1960 saw set. Also needs a little detailing. A pair of neat clamps. Not sure what they're for. Possibly something to do with gun smithing. But eh, they were neat. Really rusty hand vise, but we have the technology for that. 12 inch tri square. Might be a Stanley. Can't tell. A that out of the way. A one inch James Swan bench gouge in pretty good shape. This one's signed on the back, but it's like one and a quarter or so. Back's a little rougher than the front. But, handle's not too bad. Buck Brothers, quarter inch, a little carving firmer. And Addis, number 10 sweep carving tool. Also needs a little cleaning. APS and W, extension divider. Does have the tip. It's going to need a little work. A bell system style pointed peen hammer. This one doesn't have a mark on it. Well, it had a label, but that's long gone. And a small straight peen hammer needs some cleaning. I threw it on a scale, and I'll told it weighs about one and one pound seven ounces and change. So it's probably one and a quarter, one and a quarter pound head, but yeah. Not too bad, other than some pit and patina, so. Ain't not a big pile, but definitely worth the trip. And that wraps up this one, folks. Hope you enjoyed our little road trip. I hope you learned something. And as always, if you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button to be notified when new videos are posted. Have a great day!